Hey guys, I'm Jane Agent Occasion, and today we're carrying on with our Scrag the Slaughterer campaign, and we're about to do some more slaughtering in Old Dorf again. This is kind of like um, five episodes ago, but it's not. It's this episode. Uh, so, I reckon uh, we're going to want to get right to it, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to probably have to help out Uberstrike in a minute, too. They're at the gates. Probably just leave them to it, actually. I'll fight them in a minute. It's, fi it's fine, probably. To Old Dorf. And here we are, in Altdorf again. Is this what it looked like last time we were here? I honestly can't recall. Uh, also, I was very confused about the wall here, but no, it's because it's it's buildings up here. It's not technically wall. Or is it? Is that wall? Is that wall and then just a little gate? Well, it's a cute little gate, anyway. So, uh, yeah, back to Altdorf, I suppose. Back to Altdorf. So, what have we got? We've got spellcasters. we got... God, you guys really spread out, didn't you? Why would you have nothing but monstrous infantry? They take up a lot of room. Uh, so let's get you lot and you lot lined up. So we're going to go uh, in one gate with you, one gate with you. Gorges are going to hang out probably over there. I'll attack the other gate with them. In fact, I can deploy a lot closer. I might as well, right? There we go. We'll go attack the other gate with them. Uh, doggos are going to join this gang. So is... Bowgen, and we want to make sure that uh, Scrag is on this side, I think. I also want to make sure we climb the walls with all of you lot. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. Cool. Alright, so you go with them. I think we're all set. Cool. You go for them. You go for them. Noblars to the walls. Nope, that was incorrect. Silly me. Oh, blast to the walls. Taking a lot of cannon fire right now. An awful lot of cannon fire. Let's see, is there anything I can hit? Not really. Because uh, I can't use this on the walls. It's very sad that I can't use Bone Crusher on the walls. It's genuinely, it, it, it pains me. Am I able to hit them? Nah. I think we're just going to run in. It'll be fine. We'll just keep running forwards. Ow. Rude. Now we are going to break in here pretty quickly. And then just run right up to the capture point. A bunch of this stuff will try and retreat, I think. They were doing a good job getting through here. Sort of. We were. And then they just decided to, what, stop attacking? Kind of felt like it. Okay. Let's destroy this tower. And let's stampede these guys. Okay, this is actually kind of adorable. We'll just have a big stompy boy running down the hill. Surprise! <laughs> it's very satisfying. Is that the best spot for it? Nah, probably not. It just seemed... Seemed like the most fun. I feel like you guys just aren't even trying. Okay, let's kill these rice guard. I know you guys are anti-infantry, but you do have a bunch of armor piercing, so... Come on, guys. Come on. I know you can get through here. You're all going the same direction. You don't have to get in each other's way. Just run. Just run that way, and you'll be fine. Yeah, they're already taking a bunch of damage. Should be fine. Should be fine. Maybe. Still not through. Not even slightly. Alright, let's stamp on them. Let's stamp on them real good. And for you, my boy... Let's hurt some of our own guys and get extra ingredients. Alright. I really do feel like these guys aren't even trying. Are there any barricades that we should smash? Oh, you guys are still going, huh? A lot of spearmen as well. We might just have to run away from that. I was hoping we would actually get into the fight, but now I'm thinking that that's not on the cards. Let's get those hand gunners, because they will do terrible things to our bones. And I need those. Yeah, let's go chase them down. And you can run up here too. Good. Alright. Now how are you not doing? I mean, you're still in the fight, kind of. Yeah, there's a workout, probably. <laughs> Touch faith. 
such faith I have in my boys. Let's uh, smash something else with a hammer. Oh, we can smash these guys with a hammer. All right, it's not actually a hammer, but functionally, I think we can all agree it's it's basically a hammer. Okay, we're going to see if stone horns bounce off walls or not. It's something I just have to know. Okay, good. Bounce. Yay! Bouncy stone horn. Ah, <laughs> that's adorable. <laughs> I love that. We have a bouncy stone horn. Ah. Oh, okay, I want you to get more magic. Okay, uh, they're trying to run away, which will not do. Let's see if Stone Shake is good at destroying artillery pieces, because that could be incredibly useful for us. Nah, it doesn't seem to do much. Worth trying. Worth trying, guys. It was worth trying. Yeah, there's still a lot of nonsense going on up here. Like, those great swords are a right pickle. Uh, who needs replenishing? Let's go with them. Okay, Gorgeous, you're healing up. Wow, you guys really did... did just obliterate them. Okay, good. Yeah, you guys are on a whale of a time. So let's have you move up further. Can't hit them just yet, but I can hit these halberdiers. And I think that's probably a smart move. Probably. Probably. And yeah, you're doing a good job. Keeping all them busy. That's weird to have a capture point on the slope. You think it'd be up here, you know? Rather than actually on the slope. That feels very strange to me. Alright, another one of them. Oh, those great swords. Okay, guys, you need to you need to keep moving. You just you gotta you gotta keep going. Okay, come on. And I'm going to debuff them just because I can. So I might as well. Very strong hit from Scrag here. Although you can kind of understand why. <laughs> Go get him! Rawr! <laughs> We're ogres. Speaking of ogres. Boop. Victory! These guys have come to party. Hooray! Post victory. Alright, jobs are good. And we got some meat, we got some money, we got some experience, and we got an old town. And a noble chef. Sorry, chief. I'm going to keep getting that that confused, aren't I? Yes, I am. I've got food on the brain. Noblars are stupid, but this one has shown the faintest spark of intelligence. And that's good enough. So, we once again... We once again have um, have the province. Don't know how useful that's going to be. But we have it, and that's what matters. Uh, let's get... Something. I'm going to keep not knowing what to get. Seriously. Uh, more magic, I guess. I feel like our reserves are all like always fully stocked at the moment. Balgan can become immortal. Good for him. And uh, speaking of things and such, uh, let's get some. Hang on a minute. One more turn, right? No, oh, I already got the recruit rank. It's plus two. I thought it's plus three. I don't know why. The more preacher puts down corruption. Charge bonus plus three. Like, these these bonuses really are terrible. Really are shocking. I mean, look at that. Charge bonus plus eight. And that's just a generic one. It's very odd. These definitely need to be not terrible. I would also like to get a, a um, hunter as well. I really would. We are working on getting extra recruit rank for them, though. So five more turns and I get a hunter. Because hunters are good. They can, uh, they can ride stone horns. So I guess we're going to go with... I kind of want to go more Preacher. Although this guy is called Girth the Cheese. <laughs> Which is amazing. And, and he worships the Volcano God. So something tells me this guy is like, just big on fondue. Just, just loves it. Can't get enough of fondue. So, uh, if you're going to die, you might as well die with your boots on. Excellent. Love these guys. I love the voice for these guys as well. The fact that you can just hear the flames when they talk. It's uh, deeply creepy. Uh, so fire within gives extra weapon strength. This gives fire resistant ward save. That's very good. Bunch of random unique stuff that we'll get to. 
Uh, this is all available at rank 20, which is pretty huge. Uh, but yeah, Lore of Fire. I love Lore of Fire. Lore of Fire is brilliant. Real good stuff. There's also Fire Breath, which lets him breathe fire. And Flame Incarnate, which lets him... Um, oh, that's Melee Damage Reflection. That's the one. This is super unique as, a, as an ability. And I absolutely adore it. I really want to see more of this on, on various units. Because, I, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff in um, uh, sort of Warhammer 1 and 2 that could get this kind of treatment. But it does me uh, melee damage reflection. So if anything attacks them, they then take damage. But what's interesting is it's a static amount. And so if you have a unit of infantry where they all attack and do, like, you know, little tiny bits of damage to us, they are all going to take 14 damage each. So... You really want to duel fire bellies. You don't want to get them like bogged down in infantry because all the infantry, every time they attack, they'll take damage. You want something that is going to do a bunch of damage in one hit, so that way it doesn't take much damage while fighting Girth the Cheese. <laughs> There's Eruption, which lets him explode. There's really cool stuff. Like, seriously. Really cool stuff. Anyway, let's get uh, Fireball because we can. And then we'll get. I mean, Kindle Flame is obviously. Brilliant to have that fire weakness every time we cast a spell, but I think Burning Head is just such a just a useful thing to have that we sort of need to. We kind of need it. Also, let's upgrade this, I suppose. We can get better Mournfang cavalry. Uh, although, do I want to do that? Or, do I want to get some more man eaters? God, we just don't have the room anymore. I feel like I need to get a second army just to put all these in so we can carry on recruiting stuff. Like, I really want some giants and things as well. There's just a lot of cool units that ogres get. They do get some very cool stuff. So yeah, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. You know what? We can get Sabertusk packs in a the single turn, so there's no point even. having them. Got it. Um, like, in the, in reserve like this. Do what I say. So let's go with them. Make sure I don't die. Just a bunch right. of man-eaters, because they're going to be our front line. So cool. So cool. Really awesome army. And Scrag, we're probably going to head down here first and deal with these before we, we get the additional units from the camp. I may also make a second army to take, like, most of the scraps of this army that we're leaving behind. And I can just accent it with some better stuff from that camp. Um, I think having a, a couple of armies on the move is probably a good idea, because Scrag isn't able to really police this on his own particularly well. He's being a bit rubbish at it. So I'm just going to, you know... Just gonna have someone else do that, I suppose. So let's get uh, corruption down. Yeah, why the heck not? Huh. Rebellion imminent. I mean, yeah. And it's Zaz. Zaz is coming, guys. And so, so is Valmir von Rokov. So I guess we couldn't save um, Uber's right. Though we might be able to. You know, we might be able to hold them off a bit, build some towers, just generally be a pain. I just the fact that we don't have spells on the fire belly is just criminal. It really is. Because we really should have spells on them. Oh well. Uh let's attack. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Alright. Wow. So cool. I love how corruption affects the map. It's just so atmospheric. Uh also we don't have we don't really have anything uh, in terms of ranged. I mean, we've got these guys, but their range is so piddly they can't even get over the over the walls. Um, it would be great to have to have that. I mean, this is just staggeringly awesome. I love it. This is actually the exact same layout as one of the Kislev maps, but the Kislev maps don't have this like really tall architecture. So for that reason alone, like we are way more resistant to missile attacks from here. You know. So, I think it's really cool. Uh, although we can't build a barricade here, so it's not identical, actually, now that I look at it. It's not identical. They'll switch some of the towers around, but the general layout actually is uh, very much the same as one of the Kislev maps. Which only just dawned on me, seeing it from the side with the main capture point up here. But yeah, it is amazing. Even, even with certain layouts remaining consistent, every map still feels very different. So, you know, it's only repeated plays I've noticed there. How cool is this? So cool. Nice astrolabe with all the twin-tailed comet vibes. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Love it. Anyway, uh, enough looking at um, astronomy. Oh, I've got all this as well. 
A shame you can't deploy on these walls. But it's the amount of little details around the place are amazing. It really is staggeringly beautiful. And little scaffoldings and all sorts. Little little stone archway here to get into whatever the heck this is. It's really cool. I love the details. Anyway, let's do a battle. Because that's why we're here. We're here to battle. At least I am. I don't know what you guys are doing here. Presumably the same reason. So, um... We do have some resources to spend. So I am quite tempted to do that. And... I think I'm just going to make them walk. And I don't know if building a tower here is actually going to be any good, just because the buildings are so in the way of it. That is one problem, <clears throat> excuse me, with Empire uh, settlements. The fact buildings are so much taller in the Empire, I feel like this was designed with something like Kislev in mind. And then when they moved the layouts out, the towers just aren't tall enough. They need to put them on like a platform or something. So they can actually fire over the buildings, because they can't do that very well. Also, this is more like it. They did it here. That's awesome. Get a cannon tower over here. Which one is it? Is it is it you? Who is servicing that one? Oh, really? That feels like a mistake. To have that tower associated with that point. That does feel like a mistake. How about that one, though? Hang on. Not even that one. Is that also you? That is crazy to me. So this just has all of the... That has four towers associated with it. That is peculiar. But I guess we're going to have to hold this area then. Um, I'll smell ya. <laughs> I'll smell ya. What a weird thing to say. Alright, let's put you guys there. And let's get... A couple of ogres down here. There's not a lot here. You know, there's the archers. And it's a free company. I think we can probably deal with them, especially if we just give a really nice cannon tower here. It will fire at these guys as they move up this way, but hopefully we can dispatch them first. You know? Hopefully we'll handle that. Maybe. And then, let's see. We'll get you on here. You over here. And, I mean, it's pistoliers and things, but generally I think we can probably... Take it all. Probably push through Where that area. Really hard to say. Um, I love the voice. So good. Oh, and then we just have random noblars here as well. Alright, you go there, I suppose. Put you behind. Um, I think that's about all we can do. That's about all we can do. And we just hope that things last. Cannon towers go. Great range. Yeah, you know, in a way, I do kind of like that there's one area that is just like controls a lot of the armaments. It means that that is actually like a priority to take. But of course, it's surrounded in incredibly useful cannons. So, you know, there is that. God, I did on the platform as well. But this should be more consistent just because, like, yeah, this isn't going to be able to do a thing. Well, I guess it might be able to just shoot over here into the courtyard. They can't really shoot anything approaching the courtyard. Jeez. Alright, you move then. You know, whenever you're ready, mate. Yeah, in your own time. Ogres. Seriously. Lunatics. So these guys we might be able to run down as well. There are some spearmen there. It's, it's the fact there's a load of reinforcements coming as well, which is a problem. They're on their way. Right, cannons firing. Seems to be doing some pretty solid damage. It's obviously wonderful to see. Looks like the archers are running one way. And so are the free company. Excellent. Alright, let's get in here. The uh, melee units is going to get shot to bits by cannon fire. This is a problem, though. This is a problem. Yeah, so try and beat him to death, please. Thank you. And do I charge in? No. No, I'm going to let them come in. I'm going to flank them so hard that they won't know what hit them. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to try and build this stupid tower that I bet is going to be terrible, but we'll see. Alright, charge in. Yes. 
Yeah, you guys can hold. Just if we had any magic, seriously. If we had any magic. Can you imagine? I can imagine. I'll tell you. It's it's wonderful. It is it is wonderful. Right, hopefully that'll be built fairly soon. Uh, we seem to not quite be dealing with them as I'd like, but we are dealing with these guys rather nicely. Sort of. Ish. Hard to say, honestly. I really... I... What? No. I tried to click off and I built a barricade, that's why. Uh, yeah, this is a problem. I get some, some fire in from there as well. Right, these guys are pushing up. And... Certain units are starting to push in, which is strange. How they seem to be doing it, but that's okay. Alright, let's charge into the back of these guys. Probably gonna have, yeah. All these guys are coming in. Pretty strong. So yeah, these cannon towers need to come in so they can start shooting in here. Probably should have built that first, but I feel like this is helping us a great deal. Oh, they're taking this one out. That's fine. Doesn't strike me as too much of a problem. Valmir von Rorkov does, though. He does strike me as too much of a problem. Okay, let's pull back a little further. And, oh, of course you are. Uh, suffering some difficulties here. Though this should hopefully do quite well. And the cannon tower's firing it as well. Brilliant. And I guess we'll slow him down too. See how that goes. See where that gets him. So we do have some folks running. And coming back. Oh, we've got enemies running. That works. Uh, almost dealt with him. Almost. I feel like the ogres need to come back up here. They've got archers back here, which I'm not happy about. Although they're on their own, so I guess I'll try and catch them. I'll try and catch him. If I can catch him, we're laughing. This is definitely a problem, but... Oh, we're getting some good damage in with that cannon tower, but not enough, sadly. And these guys have broken pretty convincingly. I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. You guys are doing terribly, though, and I don't know what I'm going to do about this. I mean, I guess I've got these guys still, but... You know. It's... Pro it's it's not ideal, alright? I'll, I'll say that much. It's not ideal. So, do we have another tower? That comes from over there. I think building that might be too little too late. Um, we're going to run down this way, actually, with these guys. We're going to go on a journey. Oh, really? You guys dealt with them? Oh. Well, I guess that... I guess that tower did some good work. One more shot? Nope. Look at that. They were just about to leave as well. That is gutting. That is gutting. So yeah, we can build more towers. I just don't know what to build or where. Alright. Let's line up over here then. Hmm. Oh. Is that the main Sadwood building? It is. Okay. Catapult tower. Let's see how that goes. Ah, that's a problem. Alright, I guess you're charging back in. Oh, and yeah, that's gone all wrong. And that. And that. Everything's gone wrong. I knew we'd lose this, but still. Can't help be a bit sad. God, if only we had any spells. Seriously. And that can't shoot. This tower can't shoot. So actually, we have to go right to the back of the map and let them come to us, or else that tower won't be able to do anything. Then they'll have so much infantry. Actually, no, they're nowhere near the square. You know what? Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Let's build, uh, we can't build a platform there. No, we don't have the money. Don't currently have the money, because I spent a lot of money on that. Which I do not, do not regret. <laughs> Hashtag no regrets. Okay, good. Come on, Cannon Tower. You need to kill thousands of enemies for me. Thank you. Thousands of them. Where are you going? You're going down here. Alright. Fair enough. You do you, I guess. Ooh, let's go kill those crossbowmen again. Or at least try. Uh, let's stall them down. Alright, well, thanks, I think. 
Uh, okay, four more seconds, and we have a catapult tower. I wonder what the range of this is going to be. If it can reach over here, I'll be very happy. You know what? It can only... Oh, actually, no, it can hit over here. It just depends on the firing arc, really. Don't know what it's going to do. I mean, it looks like it's just going to throw a big rock at him. That works. Okay, they all start to take that now. I don't quite know what they're doing. I don't entirely know. It does look like their archers are wandering off, which is nice. I build a barricade there in time? I don't know. Probably not. Alright, you run back that way. Yeah, I'm getting, some, getting some good damage over here. Yeah, you guys continue to kill all them, please. Uh, how are we looking over here? We still got. Oh no, they're, they're shattered. I don't, know, don't know where they are. Where's your flag, guys? Oh, up there. Okay. That tracks. That tracks. Hopefully that'll do some work. Hard to say. Alright, come on. Come on, Catapult Tower. Nah, don't shoot there. Shoot into the masses. Oh, it does look like Valmir von Rorkov is having a bad day. I hope that trend continues. And I hope, yeah, I hope they don't get in here. Ever. But God, if we had more towers here, I'd be very happy. I should have bought, I should have got these towers early. Just while they were, like, coming in, I could have done some good work. And there. Just, we didn't really have that many resources, did we? Oh, and we have managed to block them, and the tower is doing good work while they're all clogged up, so that is something. Alright, charge by this way, I'm not getting a rear charge. Okay, not letting them have it. And it looks like we've almost killed Valmir von Rorkov, and I can actually heal Mr. Firebelly, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Come on, just kill him, please. I'll be your best friend. We got archers firing now. Uh, it looks like that's doing some good work. Hard to say. It really is. Go on, do it again. Oh, that seems okay. Not terrible, you know. Oh crap! They really are just sort of pushing in now. They just have so many, but they are going to eventually just take this. Oh, they have another lord in here now. Oof. Yeah, this tower's not doing enough work. It's just not doing enough. We'll speed this up. It was worth a try, you know? It was worth a try. That was all it was ever going to be. We were just going to give it a go. Alright. So, I mean, we did do an astounding amount of damage, but it doesn't really come to much um, unless we can reach them this turn, which, now that I think about it, we might be able to reach them this turn with, with Scrag, because he does have all the movement bonuses on. They, they didn't even take it. Apparently we did... Pardon me. We did enough damage to them for them to decide... Oh, I don't want to actually have it. So that's interesting. <laughs> Alright. You do you. Uh, so we have a rebellion. We'll deal with that. Tell them I got sacked. We got some technology. Contract scrawls. Even ogres know what that keeping records of agreements can avoid the more violent forms of disagreement further down the track. Simply sign your name with an X. And uh, we... Oh, we got rid of that trace. Good. That's good to know. So, yep, Scrag has uh, removed his self-flagellation. Honestly, I think every time he's got an itch, he's essentially self-flagellating, let's be honest. So, Altdorf. Uh, don't need that. That's stupid. Good. Uh, I'm going to try and prepare that, though I'm not sure if that's going to work out. And let's start conquering our way over here. So, dead. Bye now. And uh, eat the captives. And then Ubel. Hello, Ubel. We've got a pit fighter. Extra experience gain. It's not too bad. The tribe huddle around a crudely dug pit to watch two of their best gut barge face crack and fist splinter it out until one of them either submits or dies. Zaz is dead. Sorry, Zaz. Alright, come here, you. Boop. Good. Now how are we looking? Wow, yeah, we can we can make it. Although we are just going to attack them and they're going to run away, I think. I doubt they'll want to fight, but you never know. You never know. Water Resolve does seem to... Does seem to think Scrag, like, isn't always capable. 
Let's have a look. God, what are we going to get now? Uh, let's get Healer, so that way we can ditch Falgan. And someone else can have Falgan. Falgan's great and everything. He's just... Lord of Beast isn't the best, you know? So, the front of the shield depicts a warrior being blessed by a nameless lady. So, not the best for this sort of army. So, uh, Ubelhart is dead. Gauntless? Fear is a foreign concept to this being. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I mean, look at him. Jeez. And yeah, they are going to run. I thought they would. Which is annoying. This is going to waste some more turns. And I can't quite ambush. I probably should have done. Uh, let's see. What I could do is be cheeky and get him stuck. <laughs> so this is a fun trick. Uh, which is absolute cheese, of course. But I don't want to have to chase these guys to the end of the earth. But if you're within the enemy's area of influence, they don't get to move. Oh, in fact, that's already happened accidentally because he didn't run. So I think he's already stuck. Oh, wow, that's very funny. Okay, now I don't have to be like, you know, I'm going to cheese. No, I, it's just happened organically. But if you're within the area of influence of another character, then you can't move outside of that influence because that involves walking through their influence. And you can only do that if you're giving an attack order. So... What you can actually do is give an attack order and then press backspace, which stops your unit. You know, it stops your army from marching. And if that's now within the enemy's area of influence, they're going to be stuck either having to attack you or sit there like a jerk, in which case you can kill them on your next turn. But that's just happened organically for some weird reason, because this guy didn't move out of the circle like they normally do. I don't know quite what happened there. Because usually if you chase one person off, the others will move out of the area, so... But yeah, you can see the movement. I am I can only move within his area of influence right now. I can't move outside of it. I can only order to attack. So that's really weird. That's very weird. Uh, okay, so Girth the Cheese. Alright, Falcon, you're going to leave now. Okay, we're going to leave you now. And then Girth the Cheese, we're going to give the order to go to Scrag. Cool. Hello, Delbert's. Uh, that we can upgrade, although what do we want to actually upgrade? Yeah, we can, we can afford that. Good. I wanted to make sure we could actually get the settlements upgraded. Before anything else. And Gorsal... Oh, it's getting upgraded already. We'll be able to do the garrison building soon. Cool. And I'll heart camp. Can't be bothered to get anything there yet. We're fine. Let's move on. Uh, well, it is worthless meat. It, it disappears as soon as you remove it. So, you know, it's not ideal. Uh, but this guy actually wants a non-aggression pact. And the idea of the Demons of Chaos wanting to be friends, I mean, I... It's a tough one, because they, they're going to leave a lot of meat to spoil. You know, they just kill them. They don't even eat it. it, it I don't... I don't gel with that. It doesn't quite... It doesn't feel right to me. So, I'm going to say no. Angry. Everyone's starving, boss. Even more than usual. Might be the Great Moors in a stink bout something, and we gotta make an offering to meat. Or maybe the tribe's just gone too long between meals. Uh, so we can do a meaty tribute, which will give us some money, but give up some meat, which is fine, actually. Or um, a hearty brunch, which gives us, wow, five turns of plus ten melee attack and defense. That's obscene. We don't even need it, honestly. We don't even need that. Do we need the money, though? Not really. We can do a hearty brunch. That is fair. Tribes only had eight breakfasts today. Stuff a bit more fat and greased out them, and they'll be right as rain. Better even. Yeah, there's been a confederation, but what does that matter? Also, more, uh, more, um, more loose lips over here. There have clearly been more loose lips, because as we all know, loose lips sink ships. So, Valmir, he's been, he's been gossiping again. Oh, and the guy didn't actually somehow stay in. That's very strange, that mechanic. Okay, so that mechanic just seems totally different now. How come we couldn't move, except within his area of influence, but he could move all he wanted? Now, that's very odd. That is very strange. But I'm not going to knock him, because... Um, because I'm scared of the answer. <laughs> so, uh... Falgon... So, what's, what's Altdorf doing? Altdorf's not doing a whole lot, but he doesn't have a whole lot going on for him. We can we can kill 
We can kill Valmir very easily if he attacks us, so I think we're fine just to start heading over to uh, Isleheart again. And Girth the Cheese is going to come for the journey. Come on. Good boy. And then uh, Falcon is going to join whatever other army I decide to produce to take Scrag's experienced scraps. Because he's got very good units here, you know. He's got a lot of experience under their belt. But quite low upkeep because they're still basic units. So it's rather nice to have them. It really is. So in Marienburg, we get the final uh, final defences built. I don't feel like they've got great defences, but then they're not an ogre camp, are they? They're just a simple simple little uh, you know, minor settlement, essentially. More money, please. Money, please. Alright, so, Scrag, my boy. Uh, how how is the recruitment drive looking? Pretty great. I mean, that is that is obscene. That is a great army. I would love to march with this army. That is a very cool army. Just that. Take the whole thing. Anyway, let's crack on. You are me, the only for butchery. Hello, Mr. Ludenhoff. Oh, you want peace, do you? I mean, I've got no reason not to. Honestly, like, it's it's fine. I'm actually fine piecing out with him. Um. Yeah, I'm fine. They're gonna pay me. It's basically extortion. You know, I bully them and then they give me money. Kind of how it should be. So, Scrag. Oh, Scrag's finally gonna have a beautiful army. Not the best. Not the best, though. I could give him better man-eaters. I could give him better man-eaters. I'm actually going to get rid of the Saber Tusk pack as well. Because uh, we got gorgeous, guys. we got gorgeous. Uh, I want to get rid of all them. Uh, maybe just the two stone horns? Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, swap them over and see what we're, we're going to end up with. So we have a front line of man-eaters. We have actually seven gorges. Let's swap that. Let's swap that. Okay, we're going to swap that for a, a second scrap launcher, maybe? Uh, having some more artillery does sound like a lot of fun. Though, I mean, lead belches are a bit more direct, but no, we'll do that. Okay, so we'll have three gorges on either side. Right, we'll have a couple of stone horns, a couple of scrap launchers, a couple of lead belchers behind a wall of man eaters. I mean, this is a just a despicable army, and I can't wait to field it. I feel like now we can defeat anything that we come across. Just flatly, like, you know, we've won now. <laughs> Thank God, look at the melee defense of the man eaters. 69. Amazing. Real good. Uh, but it does mean that I still have. Uh, uh, this as just like leftovers, which is still kind of crazy. So, do I get that second army now, or do I wait a bit? It's an important question. Uh, let's get the favored Mournfang cage built, so we get some better Mournfang cavalry or crushers or whatever the hell that'll allow us to get. You know, the better cavalry. Um, right. So, Scrag, we're going to go to Middenheim next, and Wolfric Ramvoldus is here. What happened to... Oh my god, did attrition... Attrition killed the Elector Count. The Elector Count literally just succumbed to his wounds. That is such a cool storytelling, like, event to have happened organically as a result of the Sandbox. He took brutal wounds trying to take Ubersreich, and the Elector Count being nearly dead decided just to sack Ubersreich and leave. And travelling back home where chaos has taken hold, where little little weird towers, little wizard towers have been built all over the place. Yeah, the corruption finished him off. He finally succumbed to his wounds. That's so cool. So cool. Love that. Want more of that, please. I don't know what to do with Falcon right now. Not a clue. We could Oh, he is immortal though. He is immortal. So he could just do some random um whatever's. Just just hinder their replenishment. It's gonna do nothing. Except maybe give us some experience. Yep, success. He leveled up. Now let's make him a better assassin. 
Uh, oh, he doesn't have assassination. He's got wound. He can only wound people, which makes him a pretty crappy assassin, actually. Um, although, actually, it works against heroes anyway, right? Against all the random demon ones that pop up. I don't think they return. Hard to say. Hard to say, actually. Either way, I don't think this is what this guy's going to be for, but we may as well get him some experience this way. So we can give him Feast Master, which gives him uh, much better replenishment for the army. Just much better replenishment. Also, it gives himself regeneration, which is pretty cool. Do Greasy Profit. Uh, corruption, lowered. And cooldown is lowered, but we don't use the spells much anyway. Uh, better at stealing technology. Poison attacks, and we can hinder replenishment or well, slaughterer, gives him better weapon strength. I think Feast Master is the obvious one. So we're going to go with Feast Master. Feast Master Falcon. Except it's not called him Falcon, and that is essentially like a, a way to give him a big name. So I'm going to call him. Not Feaster, that's not. Feast Master. Feast Master. Falcon. There we go. Love it. Big fan. Uh, okay. What next? Do I start building random gold mines? Well, not gold mines, you know. Um, gold hordes. An ogre's love of gold comes closely off to meat as the dwarfs know to their cost. It's collected and usually piled close to the tyrant's residence. Alright, that'll do, I think. But yeah, Scrag, hell of an army. It's costing us five grand per turn to field this, but I do not care. It is awesome. All contracts available. We're actually on turn 51, which is absolutely obscene. <laughs> so high. So high a turn already. Anyway, factions approach you with bounties. Let's have a look. Lorelorn wants us to kill Natasha Ivanovich. Um, take it off. Uh, so Talabekland wants to take Kusel. And uh, Hockland wants us to take Middenheim, which we're doing anyway. So that's perfect. Place over there called something dwarf or whatever. Go squat and find loot. Oh, I'll squat and find loot, all right. Yeah, I will. No hesitation. No rest. No hesitation. No surrender. Uh, so here is not moved. I mean, that's just how he rolls now. He just, he just doesn't. He just, he just sits there. He just sits there. What I can actually do is disband him. Uh, oh no, it doesn't let you anymore. It doesn't. Oh yes, it does. Excuse me, moving, silly me. Uh, so because he's a mortal, and there's no recruitment pool for uh, heroes, it just means he's going to come back again. At least that's what it was in Warhammer One, and I hated it. It was real dumb and shouldn't have been a mechanic. Um, it should just, if they're immortal, put them back in the recruitment pool so you can re recruit them again if you want. But heroes don't have a recruitment pool. It's really dumb. But that would save us the 250 gold per turn for a guy that... I mean, he's done good work for us. I do like him. We'll keep him. We'll keep him. We'll, we'll put him in a new army soon. Just not yet. Just not yet, guys. Hello, Sven Olfsen. Military access. I have no need for that. Go away. And the Ice Court has claimed a soul. A bit late. Oh, they were hanging around in there for a long time. Where were you? Oh, in Nurgle's Realm. Yeah, Nurgle's Realm is is uh, really high on attrition, so you, if you make it to the end, it's because you've moved mostly in, in, in camp stance, which is obviously very slow, so it makes sense. We also got another, another technology done. Uh, bait the trappers. Noblar trappers delight in tormenting smaller animals and following ogre hunters in a battle. Baiting them beforehand ensues that only the fastest, most intrepid candidates may attend. Good stuff, so that's extra hero recruit rank for hunters and for Noblar trappers. So let's go with a uh, let's go with like a beast themed army, shall we? We'll have Laura Beast, we're gonna hunt her. Alright, we'll have a we'll have a grand old time. Also, uh extra speed and strider is awesome. Considering the fact that we're going to be on a stone horn at some point. Uh, and yeah, all this stuff is going to buff our saber tusks, which is very cool. Really fun addition. I think this is something that needs to happen more often um, with with sort of heroes that, are, that belong to a theme. Because uh, it makes total sense. Like The same with like pack masters for Skaven. Like they should hold most of the buffs for those sorts of units, you know. 
I think it's a lot of fun. Well, I can give him Vanguard. Because, uh, yeah, giving Vanguard to Saber Tusks is a lot of fun. Because then they'll behave like I keep thinking they behave. And there's also the, the sort of, um, you know, the ogre names, the big name stuff. Increased mobility is nice too. Oh, what are we going to get? Uh, let's start with deploy uh, Vanguard for Saber Tusks and Vanguard for himself. Let's do that. Got Stork as well. Very cool. Frenzy for Saber Tusks. I mean, Frenzy is no joke. It's plus eight melee attack, essentially. It's great. And cheaper Saber Tusk packs as well. And immune psychology, so I get terrified. I mean, that doesn't stop them rampaging, of course. And at rank 15. 15! That's not even that high. We can get a Stonehorn mount for him. We can ride around on a Stonehorn. I'm pretty sure he still keeps the missile um, attack when he's on the Stonehorn, too. So it's pretty cool. All right, let's have a look. Recruit a Lord. Uh, they're going to be terrible, aren't they? Yes, they are. Well, we had Zok, the deboner, didn't we? We bring Zok back. We bring back Zok. It does mean that our spellcaster is going to be Beastmaster Falgon, which is a bit disappointing because it's just Falgon. But, <laughs> I mean, it'll do, right? It'll do. Uh, so, Law of Beasts or Law of the Great Moor? Oh, well, actually, he'll be the, he'll be the spellcaster. I'm getting confused again. I get my tyrants and slaughter masters confused again. So, yeah, we'll get Zork. Then we'll have Law of the Great Moor as well. But we're not going to get yet another uh, thingamajig. Oh, we raised additional army. Good. Good for us. Alright, so this is where we're going to end the episode anyway. But uh, yeah, we have a second army on the way. So that's good news. We're going to fill it with saber tusk packs and, and just fun nonsense like that. Uh, it should be a right old giggle. So guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.